surprise? Maybe? Hey what's up you guys, my name is Hannah, welcome or welcome back to my channel and you may notice that we are in a completely new location and that is because I've moved house, the last week I moved house which is why I haven't really uploaded a video it's been about a week and a half to two weeks rather than just one week but you may also have noticed that uh, something else has changed um, if you are completely new to my channel, absolutely nothing has changed because you don't know what I looked like before but this was me before, I cut my hair and I dyed it this isn't actually black, it's really dark blue which is what I wanted and you can tell more in the sun I'm not sure how well it will show up on camera but it's dark blue and I like it very much behind me I've got my bookshelf which has doubled in size plus I've got a little area there where I'm gonna keep more school book stuff now that I've got more space to work with I'm going to use these six shelves and not use these for now and I'm going to use the bottom ones for storage. The fact that I've got more space means that I can display more books front on and I can just play around with it a bit more than I was able to in my old house with my single bookshelf. First things first, I need to take everything off because as of right now that all the books are just placed randomly on the shelf. I don't want them there so I'm going to take everything off and try to organise them a bit. I've got to put some music on because you know um, everything's a bit boring without music. Unfortunately you won't be able to listen to the same music as me because copyright but Enjoy some copyright free music whilst I jam out to K-pop, so let's do this. Also, my sister gave me a bunch of her books, so I've got more books now. I'm just going to wipe you a bit because you're a bit dirty, I think. I think that's better. Okay, these are two books that I borrowed from friends, so I'm going to have to leave them on the side somewhere so that I remember to give them back. Also, the book that I'm currently reading, The Priory of the Orange Tree, is downstairs in my bag because I took it out with me yesterday to read on the bus. I want to display that one, which means I have to leave a space for it. I don't have any plan. I feel like I might try and do a rainbow shelf along here. With my rainbow shelf, I've always tried to make sure the books are the same height, but I'm not sure how possible that is this time. I want to do series up here and just see what I've got left over there and go on the bottom. <laughs> The first thing I'm going to do is just put which books I want on the shelves before I organise them, so that's what I'm doing now. It's probably a bit boring watching from that direction, so I'm going to move you a bit. Believe it or not, these shelves are organised. It may not look like it from there, but I promise they are. I definitely had more Cassandra Clare books than this. One, two, three. I've only got the last three of the mortal instruments. But I've got them all because my sister gave them to me and I just don't know where they are. This is a little bit annoying. Could have sworn that I'd seen them. Oh, come on. Which view do I need to be able to find these books? So Cassandra Clare has two missing books currently, which I know that I own. There are some of hers which I don't own, but out of the ones that I do, there are two that are not here. So either I'm going to find them in this pile of books a bit later on, or they're going to be in my sister's unpacked boxes somewhere, which I will find at the end of summer. So for now, I'm just going to have to work with what I got <coughs> and keep organising. I can't send you ashes. And they tell me. There are some series where I'm sacrificing the fact that they're together to the rainbow shelf. So as of right now, I've got most of my books on the shelf. Well, a big chunk of my books on the shelves. And these are all either hardback or a different size. There's another fly. How many flies have to annoy me whilst I'm trying to film? So I'm just going to leave these here for now, see if these fit on those shelves and if there's no space left I'm just going to have to move upwards and use those two at the top. Let's do this shelf first, this is my whites, yellows, oranges and reds. I'm going to start building my greens on here because there's more space. One shelf done. We've got a bunch of blues on here so I might be able to move some of my darker books up here. These 
Michael Grant books aren't going to be in the right order, but you know, you've got to fit the purple to the purple, otherwise the colour doesn't work. So I don't care about book order for this particular shell. <laughs> So here I've used all of my rainbow books and all of my dark books which I originally put on this shelf. So I feel like what I might do is make a space here, the Priory of the Orange Tree, facing forwards and then maybe face one of these books forwards as well or autobiography here to be on display as well because they've got pretty covers. I brought my book from downstairs. <sighs> I'm tired from running up and downstairs. That. So as of right now, I've only got Cassandra Clare books on here, but I am missing City of Bones and I don't own Lady Midnight. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this shelf, to be honest. I might add just some other random books onto it. But first, I'll just organise these and then if I need more space later on, I'll put other books on there. I still haven't read Queen of Air and Darkness. I'm absolutely terrified to read that book. I guess this works for now until I get City of Bones to put there. Got the last of each series. On display. I can't tell if my camera on my bookshelf is ah uh, is my bookshelf. My bookshelf is slanted. It's tilted. There's nothing I can do. Okay. So I've got the Hunger Games series and what I own of the Luna Chronicles. I have read Winter, but I borrowed it from a friend. Throne of Glass. Finally, I can have it on a shelf where everyone can see it. I used to have it on my top shelf, and I couldn't really see it that well. But now my sister gave me the books, which I don't own. I've got the whole series, and that's very exciting. I'm gonna put them in the order which you read them. There we go! I'm happy with that. Now it's time for the bottom two shelves. On here I've got my Rick Royden books, which my sister gave them to me. She gave me all of them. I didn't own these before. I do want to read them. There are so many, so it's quite intimidating. But I definitely want to get through them because it's kind of like a classic. Like I'm, It's become a classic now. And then here is for all my books that are on the ground. <laughs> There's actually a huge hole in the ground here. So I need to be careful not to <laughs> fall down. I'm not 100% sure of which order these books go in, so I'm going to do a bit of googling. <laughs> that works. <laughs> I'll leave my friend's books on the side. And first I'll put my hardback books on. I'll put all my novels on this side. Everything that's not a novel, yeah. Will this book fit? Hey, okay. So, I do have a bunch of books. Well, not a bunch, like a little handful of books left. I've got the Dan and Phil book, which I don't really want anymore, so I'll probably just give that away. I'll put it here along with my other books that I'm giving away. I've got a maths and a physics book, a poem book, a middle child book, and a childhood book, which I'll probably just stick up. Wait, will it even fit? <gasps> it doesn't fit. I'll put it this way. That works. That works for now. <sighs> I'm very happy with that. I really like how they turned out. I like it very much. So now what I'm going to do is add my little bits and bobs. I've already added one thing here. I have got this Carstairs, Herondel and Lightwood family like tree, but I don't know, I can't really put it anywhere here. I'll just fold it and put it here. So I do also have these lights to put on my shelf, but in my old house they only fit around one shelf, so I'm going to have to try and figure out what to do to make it fit around three. I'm probably just going to leave that without lights. I might just put them around these three shelves here, the ones that are going to be in the video and that are holding the majority of my books. So I'll do that another time because first I don't have time to right now, second of all I haven't really figured out how I'm going to do it, but yeah. This is my bookshelf. Thank you very much for watching. <laughs> I hope that you like the way that my bookshelves are organised. All of my social media will be linked in the description down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my videos. I post as often as I can, especially now that it's summer, I'm able to post more frequently than I was able to during exam time. So please look forward to more content. I will work hard to get this video up today. It is currently Sunday. If it's not up by the end of Sunday, someone shout at me. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I'll see you next time. Love you very much. Bye bye.